Hey guys, my name is Ketan and today I want to talk about another cool product of mine which is a sorting visualizer project. I was actually inspired by Clement Mihalescu, I'll link his channel down below. Uh, he mentions that he had uh, these projects while he was applying for Google on his resume and uh, one of them is a sorting visualizer and I thought it will, it will be cool to know how much time it will, be, it will take for me to do this project and so I wanted to find out and I started doing the project and I was able to finish it in about 15 hours. While doing this project, I was able to brush up on my HTML, CSS and JavaScript and especially two things were really huge for this project. Those are DOM manipulations and a timer function in JavaScript. I also learned about, uh, well I brushed up on my sorting algorithm skills and I was able to learn about separation of concerns which is basically taking your source code and breaking it up into different blocks which are logically related and creating uh, putting them in different files so that if you have a problem with that specific part of the code you can go directly to that file and attack that file. For example, uh, in the sorting algorithms we can have multiple files such as insertion sort will have its own file and heap sort will have its own file and visualizations will have its own file and all of them are linked by one of the main files. So this uh, model actually is very scalable and it is really uh, huge in uh, industry right now because if you want to debug your pro uh, program, this is a way to do it. Be uh, otherwise you'll have to go through all of the code and or you'll have to find out which part of the code you're looking at and this is really hectic. So instead of that, we are using separation of concerns and this was a huge learning for me and I understand why this is a really big thing. I added one new feature to this project which is the speed of visualizations and it gave a really cool uh, functionality to the project and I'll show you that. So let's jump into the project and I'll show you what the project actually looks like. Okay, so this is the folder, the sorting visualizer projects folder and if I just open up the index.html file, we get this. So this is my project and actually I think I feel really good looking back at it because I haven't opened it in a couple of weeks. So uh, I'm actually proud of my work. Uh, okay, so we have a couple of controls. The size of the array, which if you change the size of the array here, you can see that we have more blocks, right? And then the actually the width of the blocks also changes, obviously. And then we have the speed of the algorithm. So this, you'll be able to see this once I click on one of the algorithms. So these are the algorithms. I have six algorithms here, bubble sort, selection sort, insertion, merge, and quick and heat, right? Then we have another button here. This is the generate new array button. If you click this, it just generates a new array. So this is the, uh, well, these are all the buttons and controls. Uh, ignore this, this is the first container. This is the second container. I wanted to include the time complexities and uh, you know, some other info if about that specific algorithm, which is running. So right now let's just leave that maybe I'll add it in the further versions by the way if you want to check this out you can go to the github as I mentioned and you can play with it and you can let me know what you think about it on uh, comments uh, comment section down below or you could also DM me on Instagram message me on Instagram and we can talk okay so let me give you a demonstration of one of the algorithms and my favorite algorithm is actually merge sort to watch because well you will see why uh, I'll actually do bubble sort first and then I'll do merge sort uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll keep the speed in the middle there are actually five different speeds this is the lowest speed this is speed number one two three four okay so there are five five speed modes I'll just put it in the middle and I'll do bubble sort. Now you can see that it's going, uh, it is still searching for the first one and then for the second one and then for the third one. So it will keep on going. And you can also see that the buttons are actually, the buttons are unclickable now and also the controls are locked, right? Because you don't want to mess with the algorithm while it's running. It will really mess up the you know flow of the algorithm. So you don't want to do, do that. So we'll just refresh this and then increase this and put the here, put it here. Now we'll do merge sort. Now you can see that this is really fast and this is reflective of how fast each algorithm is. So I haven't normalized the speed of each algorithm to make them all look similar because that is part of the effect, right? You want to see how this works and this is how fast merge sort works. Now just imagine how much time it would have taken bubble sort to do that. So this is a really cool uh, you know, demonstration. 
Now, if you do bubble sort here, it will go back to that and it will keep doing that. Even for a sorted array, it, will take, it is taking a lot of time, right? Now, if you do, if you were to do that for the merge sort, uh, you see that the speed has increased, right? This is because the speed is at level four. If you do merge sort again, you see that it's really fast, right? So you can understand what which algorithm is faster and uh, you can even look at different scenarios in which it is fa more beneficial, right? If it is sorted, which algorithm is preferable? I would also like to mention that the speed of the algorithm button was not in Clement's video. Uh, the size and speed were actually mixed into one and he normalized across all the, you know, I think he normalized across all the algorithms and the speed gave us this really cool functionality, which is that if I drop the speed down, I'll just generate a new array and I'll also drop the size of the array because what I'm going to show you will take a lot of time if I put it on a lot. And now I have a minimum number of, uh, you know, segments and also the speed is low. If I click any algorithm, let's say merge sort, you can see step by step what is happening, right? So the yellow, yellow segments are actually uh, represent that your the algorithm is looking at these particular segments when it is looking at that segment it will mark it as yellow and if it is and if it is changing a particular segment it will it will mark it as red and if the final position of the segment is where it is now then it will be green right so this is uh, the representation of the colors and i think this is a really cool feature because you can watch it step by step happening now let me do this with, with uh, insertion sort and I'll actually put it at uh, you know, level 2 so that you can uh, you can watch it a little bit faster but still understand it right you see that this is working for insertion sort 2 so this is the project and this is I think a really cool project because you can if you show it to another person he can really understand what is happening really quickly and it will give you a really good impression uh, it, and it gives the interviewer a re really good impression if you are able to show this. So that's it. And I would like to show the code in the file structure. And when I mentioned, you know, that I learned about separation of concerns, I'd like to show you what that actually means uh, in the code. So let's jump into the code. All right, guys, before you jump into the code section, I'd just like to mention if you think the videos in software development and careers in software development are something you are interested in then definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for this video if you like this video. All right, before we go into code, I'd just like to uh, give an overall picture by going through the file structure of the project. We have three folders, three subfolders, which are CSS folder, media and scripts. Scripts holds all the JavaScript files and then media holds all the photos and videos if there are any. And then we have CSS folder. It holds the style.css. This is the only CSS file I have for this project. Now CSS.map is actually a, uh, you know, a complementary file which was created by SAS uh, which is a framework for CSS. Style.scss file is a SAS file. It converts all the code that I write here into a CSS file. It is very similar to CSS. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check that out. It will make your life so much easier. And it uses .map file to convert into style.css. Okay. So now we have we, we have looked at CSS, media, uh, media and SAS. Now this is just a workspace file. This is a Visual Studio file, a related file. Then we have read.md. This is a GitHub file. Uh, it, it is just a summary of what the project actually is. Then the only thing that are the only two things that are left are index.html and the scripts folder. Now I'd like to focus on index.html. Index.html is the source file, for, is the main HTML file and there are no other HTML files in the whole project. So what it basically does is it creates all the buttons and uh, you know inputs, uh, input arrays uh, and all the divs and everything and then we link the scripts which are JavaScript files to it so that JavaScript can take over and run all the algorithms on the divs. Okay, So these are all the links to JavaScript. And then we have, you know, buttons, bubble sort, selection sort, everything. Then we also have this containers which hold the divs and also, uh, you know, future for future expansion. I, I kept two more of the containers. Uh, that's it. These are the inputs, size of the array and, uh, you know, speed of the algorithm. Right. So this is a link to CSS. Then let's look at JavaScript files. 
and this is where the all the magic actually happens uh, yeah so these are all the variables that I declared and these are used throughout the program and a couple of event listeners and then we have a uh, number of functions this generate array functions creates the array and stores it in the variables uh, you know div sizes holds the heights of these bars and then divs holds the you know actual blocks of divs and then we have uh, disable buttons function which just disables uh, the access to buttons once you have uh, clicked the run uh, when you once you have started the algorithm the buttons will be disabled right this is done through disable buttons and then we have the run algo function which takes care of actually running the algorithm by calling uh, you know if you click the bubble function bubble function uh, bubble button bubble function is called and that leads to bubble sort.js this has the bubble function right and this is the uh, algorithm for bubble sort so every algorithm is separated into its own javascript file in this way if i have any problem with a specific algorithm i can i can go to that specific file this is what separation of concerns actually looks like when you implement it then we have you know visualizations.js and all of those are just algorithms okay and this div update uh, function is actually present in visualizations.js what that function does is oh sorry yeah so what that function does is it changes the color and height according to uh, the algorithm running uh, and this holds uh, you know all the variables for speed and it also has the enable um, enable buttons function i should probably have kept that uh, in the main but it's fine because you know after the visualizations are done you should enable the buttons right so i kept it here it's fine so this is what separation of concerns actually looks like and this is the whole code for the project so that's the project if you have any comments about it be sure to reach out thank you guys for watching and hit the like button and subscribe button